Hey guys, what is up? Mike Lock here. Thanks for tuning in to another video blog. In this video, I'm going to touch on Adobe Fireworks. I want to talk about the emergence of all these other design apps that are coming up in the market. And I want to touch on some key features, some things you need to think about when you're, you know, making one of these apps your primary tool of choice. You want to think about these key important features when it comes to all UI UX design work. I want to touch on those things in a in the later part of this video. Um, but the way this topic came about a few, a few days ago, I was uh, finishing up a meeting at work with a product manager and a developer. And after the meeting, um, this happens a lot, by the way, after the meeting, when I'm showing screens and I'm going through prototypes and things like that, um, somebody would say, hey, Mike, you know, how, what did you use to create these, these prototypes or these mockups in? You know, and I'll tell them I used Adobe Fireworks. And the way I explain it is, you know, Adobe Fireworks is a lighter version of Photoshop um, in the Adobe Creative Suite, but it has this cool prototyping feature in it, allows me to do all these cool things. And they're always amazed at the prototypes that um, I put together. And it just got me to start thinking like, you know, how crazy, how valuable Adobe Fireworks is to my everyday job, my everyday workflow. Um, even today in 2015, when a couple years ago, Adobe decided to um, stop developing and adding new features to Adobe Fireworks. So obviously those of us who use Fireworks are stuck with using CS6. Um, but it just got me to start thinking like how important and how valuable that product is uh, to my everyday job. Um, in addition to that, so I sent out a tweet, you know, saying like how impressed people were always with when they, when they see that I'm using Adobe Fireworks and the things that it can do. Um, somebody actually tweeted me from this company called Gravit, um, or that they're using this, this this app that they're creating called Gravit. You can go to gravit.oi or gravit.io, something like that. Um, and they're like, hey Mike, check it out. We're kind of similar to Fireworks. And so I checked it out. And yeah, they're a little bit, they're, they're similar to Fireworks, has a, has a Fireworks look and feel. You know, obviously limiting in, in a lot of the key features of the Fireworks, but it got me to start thinking like, man, that's another app that's on the market? I mean, I've heard of all these other ones and this one, this guy pings me and it just got me to start thinking, man, there are tons of so many different design apps that are up and coming in the world and, or in the, in the, in this landscape of UI UX design. And I like it actually. Um, um, but it raised the question, you know, with so many different apps on the market, which one should you focus on? And to be honest with you, I don't know if there's an easy answer to that question. Um, one thing I do know is that um, the emergence of all these other apps, Sketch, um, Envision app, which is a cool prototyping tool, Webflow, um, Acture, um, UX Pin, Gravit, and all these other apps that are on the market. Um, and I'm sure I forgot like dozens of them. So if you know you work for one of those companies, please list it in the comments. I'll be happy to check it out. Um, but there's so many different apps on the market. We don't know which one to sort of focus in on. And I think as a consumer, it's good for consumers because we have choices. In addition to that, um, companies aren't gonna be so stringent down the road as to you having to know one particular app instead. They're gonna be open to, um, I think, open to the idea of maybe you've worked with a particular application that you like and they'll be more open and acceptable to that sort of um, way of working. So I think that's good for the consumer. Um, but having said all that, when you're diving into one, my, my sort of thing is, and I've always worked this way, even when creating my videos, is I only show you, I, I, I show you and I use what works for me. So if something works for you and it's getting the job done, it's allowing you to produce the screens and do all the work that you can do, use that particular tool. I use Adobe Fireworks because it's been the best tool of choice from day one, from 15 years ago. Um, and so I continue to use it. I will continue to use it. And so I'll continue to pitch it to people and I'll continue to train within it and use it for all my everyday UI UX design work. Um, but here are some important, uh, let me leave you with this. Here are some important features, regardless of which app you dive into key, I, I would say four features that are vital to everyday UI UX design work that you need to think about that's that app should probably have. Okay. Number one, is the ability for that application to edit both bitmap and vector. Okay, you need a tool 
like Photoshop, like Fireworks, that is powerful enough to edit both bitmap images, JPEGs, as well as um, vector objects, points, icons, um, everything vector-based, okay? Obviously, Photoshop has that. Obviously, Fireworks has that, and I believe Sketch has that, and that's why Sketch is really popular. Um, and so, that's why I use Adobe Fireworks, because it has that feature. A lot of these apps sometimes are vector-based, and they're not really bitmap-based. They don't have that bitmap functionality, and so that hurts a lot of them. You know, um, obviously, with the vector base, you can create a lot of wireframes and things like that. So, um, that's a key, okay? Vector and bitmap capabilities. Number two, I believe, is a paging system, okay? A paging system that um, allows you to have multiple pages within one document. Why is that? Because when you're working on um, uh, UI design work, you may have, most of the time, you have different states within that particular um, that UI piece. For example, you might be working on a widget, you have a drop-down box, you may have an error, you may have um, a grayed out background with an overlay on top. So you have all these different states and it's awesome to have different pages within your document that you can easily um, reference. Rather, you know, whereas Photoshop doesn't have this, you have to use the layers um, for that purpose. But, um, Fireworks has that capability. Okay, now I believe a lot of the other apps do um, have you know multiple artboards or uh, pages within that one document. Okay, I think that's vital. Um, number three, which is the biggie of, of is, is kind of like the most I think valuable is a prototyping capability. Okay, obviously Fireworks has a capability where you can create multiple pages and easily link them up. That's the biggie. Um, Photoshop does not have it. Illustrator does not have that. Okay, um, I don't even know if Sketch has it. Okay, Envision app is an awesome tool that allows you to take static mockups and easily link them up in a prototype across a network on different devices, which is key. So check out Envision app if you haven't, it's a cool tool. Um, so Fireworks has those features. Now the last, I think, important one, which Fireworks does not have and does not um, sort of, you know, doesn't have as a feature, is the ability, so when I'm designing mobile interfaces, I need to be able to see and publish that design um, across the internet and see it instantly on different devices. Okay, obviously Fireworks does not have that. I wish it did. Um, a lot of these new apps are starting to have this particular feature. Envision app is one that allows you to see do that. But um, whereas today, what I have to do is when I'm designing mobile interfaces, I you know publish it to Google Docs or whatnot, and then I download it on that device and then I can see the images on that device to kind of get some context on what it looks like. Um, that's kind of like my workaround right now, but I think long term it is vital for all applications to have that particular feature. I know a lot of the other apps that Adobe has, I think it's Reflow or, or I don't know the particular app right now, so I'm kind of like a brain fart right now, but um, I don't use those apps. Um, I don't know if it's Adobe Muse. I don't, I don't know which particular app in Adobe Creative Suite that has that feature. Um, I think it's Reflow that has that capability. Um, but I don't use it, so, um, you know, too bad. I don't, take, I don't take advantage of it. But I think just that ability to see UI design work across different um, devices instantly is, I think, vital and is cool. Okay, so those are the four features. Vector, bitmap capability, capabilities, um, paging system and prototyping tool and um, you know the UI design work seeing it across different platforms is, is, is huge and so those are the features I think you should think about as you know an emerging um, UI UX designer think about that if you're making one of these products your home these are the features I think you should think about and look into maybe uh, look into other apps that have these features that you can kind of utilize um, so that's the way I would go about doing it all right Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, if you want to learn more about my workflow, my process, and how I work within UI, uh, within Adobe Fireworks, you can always check out my web design training course at my website, mlwebco.com. Um, ask me any questions. Um, and and as, as always, if you like the things that I talk about, please hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and look out for more videos. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.